Now it's time for us to have a look at punch and roll in Reaper. And the first thing we're going to do is check that the pre-roll is set up properly and it's the length that we want it to be. So in the top left hand corner of our Reaper window, we've got this whole bank of icons here. And on the top row, the very right hand uh, icon there is, as that now says, that is the metronome icon. If we right click on that, we open up our metronome and pre-roll settings. So we're going to keep the metronome off, otherwise we're just going to get a click in the ear. Uh, but down up towards the bottom, we've got the pre-roll. We can have a pre-roll before playback and a pre-roll before recording. Not bothered about the playback. Pre-roll before recording, we'll, we'll have that. Uh, and the pre-roll measures are measured in bars. Uh, rather than minutes and seconds. Uh, two bars is possibly a little bit long. It does depend on the tempo of the song. So you can play with the tempo as well and, and find a, a pre-roll length that, you, you're, that you're really happy with. I'm just going to put that down to one bar and not bother messing around with the tempo. So now I'm ready to record. Um, now, the pre-roll is active now. So when I hit record, uh, we will still get that pre-roll. So we need to wait until we can see that playhead uh, going over the, the timeline there before we actually start to uh, read our copy. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Here I am doing a demonstration of punch and roll in Reaper. And oh no, something has gone wrong. Uh, all I need to do now is put my playhead uh, to where I want the uh, pickup to start. And let's uh, let's run that again. A demonstration of punch and roll in Reaper, and everything is going perfectly. And let's have a quick listen to that. Here I am doing a demonstration of punch and roll in Reaper, and everything is going perfectly. There we go. That's all there is to it.